All right, so once we've done that, um, we are going to essentially um, take our light and animate our light as well. So we've got the auto key on, and uh, this is best done probably in the side view. And so all I'm going to do is figure out which one I have selected here. Um, all I'm going to do is simply rotate it. Um, I don't need to, to worry too much about it. Uh, but you want to look at your lamps first. So look at your keyframes for your lamps. If I can select them here. Come on here. There we go. So the lamp keyframes are uh, not, not one. There we go. Here we go. Um, so with the bend on there, that that uh, bend is done in keyframe. 0 to frame 20 and 60. So 0, 20, and 60. So all I'm going to do is once I select my light here, oh, and I need to alright, so as you saw from the last video, Max crashed that's okay. I'm just, uh, I opened the recovery and uh, I'm going to just save this one as uh, train two here, real quick. As soon as I figure out our train, yeah, train two. Um, and that'll teach me for not saving. Okay, so everything looks like it's saved fine. So, what I'm going to do for here is I'm, I'm just going to. Uh, set a keyframe here, auto key, set a keyframe, and I'm going to angle it about three degrees a little bit, like so, and then I think at uh, 20, or I'm sorry, nope, uh, there we go, and at 20, I'm going to do three degrees. Roughly. And then I think at uh, 60 was my other frame. Let's do negative or positive three here. And so what that's going to do is allow my light to kind of flicker. And, and that's kind of what I want to do on uh, all of those. So I'm just kind of, uh, I'm going to set that up for each and every one here. And Sometimes, like I said, the light luster is an easy way to go. So I can select this one and the same thing back and forth. So I can simply let's just select here. Create a key. 20. Oh, no, that's not the one I want. We'll do that. And this is where I'm going to label this one as tunnel. And this one is just again, set a keyframe 20. Let's rotate it a little bit. And I don't need to rotate it much, just enough to. To go back and forth. All right, the next one here is already animated. The next one is this one here, which I'm going to just uh, go in reverse because it'll do the same thing. Set it at zero. Next one here, 20, like so, and 
and so on and so forth. I mean, this is all just really simple movements. And you want to be subtle. You don't want it to have like this this huge, you know, huge movement. And you can always set here zero. And finally, last one here. Auto key twenty. And you can offset these two just a little bit. And I'm just doing them subtle. It's not something I want to a lot of movement with. And so now you're, all of my lights are going to move right there. And then with that finally done, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my tunnel. So the way I'm going to work my tunnel is I'm actually going to close all this. Um, I'm going to actually do two things with my tunnel. The first thing is the tunnel itself. And the way I'm going to work this is I've got right now the tunnels uh, like this basic like this. So I'm just going to shift and move and line those up. So go over here. You can see and just something like that done. All right. Now, here's how I'm going to animate these. So the first one, I'm going to start at 0. I'm going to turn on my auto key and I'm going to set keys for both of them. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate this one from frame uh, 1 to or frame 0 to frame 100. I'm going to move this over here. And that should line up really close with this other one like so and then what I'm going to do is go back to this start here grab this one and I'm going to create a keyframe go back to 100 And I'm going to remove this one to match this. Something like that. All right. So now what's going to happen is they're both going to move the same. And I need to change the, the keyframes on it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and let's grab this so you can just grab both of them no of course not I'm gonna grab the light and I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna move this oh no come on The light and this. All right. Oops. I don't need that. So now I'm going to grab this and I'm going to subtract that. So I'm going to grab this and move it back to here. Like so. Make sure it's all set up the way it needs to be. It should be fine. And then what I'm going to do is at frame 100, I'm going to move that along the same axis and be like that. So now it's going to pass along through. All right. And I've pretty much set up most of my animation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this panel here. It's curve editor panel. And what I need to do for each curve is basically go in uh, to the editor and continue on and create. Um, oops. 
some basic tunnel keys. Um, so the tunnel, like here, here, the, this tunnel right here is going to be a linear transformation. So you can simply look at all your keys, and I just need to basically turn these into a linear transformation, both of those, and that's going to make it so that it looks like you're constantly doing something. Um, it's moving all at the same speed. Uh, the geosphere, which we didn't label, um, should have the exposition. Same thing. Make sure your tangents are set to go. And then let's uh, make sure we've got this. I'm just gonna once you select something, it'll pop in there. Again, same concept. Just need to set these tangents so that it looks like we're going at a set speed. And finally, this one here on the X. And on the Y. All right, so now that's basically going to make your scene look like your tunnel's going through. And there goes the, the passenger. All right. And with that in place, everything should be set to go. Um, just a matter of making sure everything's good, and then we can render it out. Hey, I wanted to thank everyone for subscribing to my patron, and if you haven't yet, check it out.